Just a few hours ago, the IRS updated the Get My Payment Tool application. But I'm noticing that just because they made an update, it's really not helping a lot of people. And I've been reading a lot of the comments in the last video. I think we have a much bigger problem than them just updating a tool. In addition to unemployment benefits not reaching people like the shelves, there are roughly 60 million Americans still waiting for their stimulus payments. Logistical and clerical obstacles are causing delays in getting those payments out, and the pain is palpable. See, the one thing I'm noticing is people are saying, okay, well, I updated my information weeks ago, but where's my check? I think what's happening here is if they had already processed your check um, in an actual check form where they're gonna mail it out to you and you updated your information, it really doesn't matter anymore. So now you're gonna have to wait for that check to come out. And depending on how much money you make, you could probably wait one to five months until they get these checks out. There's a couple of articles stating why it's taking so long for them to print checks. One reason that they raised was that now that Donald Trump's name, President Donald Trump's name is on these checks, that might have added a little bit to the process. Um, I'll link an article down below from CNN regarding why his name is on the IRS checks. Um, another reason that they should, that they're considering is they can only print so many checks per week. I think they quoted about 5 million checks per week. There are so many people that are still waiting for their checks. They said that 80 million went out. This week, by Wednesday or Thursday, the next wave of payments go out, and that's for those who actually got the opportunity to update their direct deposit info on the Get My Payment tool on the irs.gov website. And those who are receiving, for example, Social Security uh, benefits, you will also be getting your checks. Now, if you already get, for example, your Social Security benefits on a debit card or goes to your bank account or you get it via check, that's the same way you will receive your stimulus payment. You know, with so many Americans also going on unemployment, I mean, it's probably weeks and even months for some people to get their stimulus checks. And there are so many people that have yet to even get unemployment because I even know family members of mine have applied for unemployment and it brings up a confirmation page saying, okay, you're confirmed, now wait for us to call you, 72 hours. It's been two weeks. I, they log on, you get nowhere. It won't even allow you to update your information. It says you have to update it on the phone. It's extremely frustrating and I'm reading everyone's comments and I'm trying to kind of help however I could into guiding you in the right direction based on the information that I'm obtaining from the irs.gov website or the Department of Treasury. But like I said, I think the problem is a lot bigger than what it seems to be. And there's just so many people with no jobs, on furlough, still yet to get unemployment, and so what, by the time you get your $1,200 stimulus check, is it really gonna make a difference at that point? I mean, that $1,200, you probably need $10,000 just to get you back up on your feet, and those are some of the issues that I feel that people are facing, and I can understand the frustration. Since March 15th, over 26 million people filed for unemployment, and majority of those are yet to even receive their unemployment. So a little bit about my frustrations on filing here for unemployment. On uh, the 17th, when we were furloughed, I immediately filed uh, on their website, which took days, honestly, to file. Uh, every time you go to sign in, it signs you in and then you fill out a piece of paper, you fill out a form and it brings you back to the sign on page again. I think it was on the 24th when it finally got all of my forms and questionnaires answered and it, it everything got accepted but was marked pending. Um, and then telling me that I had to sign back on on the 31st to file for my actual two, they call bi-weeklies, which were the two weeks in March that I was actually laid off and filing for. The site kept crashing. I kept getting error messages. Um, I, it kept bringing me back to the sign-on page after I would put in my PIN number. And 
Then after about five hours, I was able to get in, file for the two weeks that they asked for, um, and everything is now still marked pending. It's been a little over three weeks since I filed. I'm still marking the computer as pending. No information as to when it will come out of pending. I'm in a waiting game now. So my day now consists of also trying to call them, um, which you can't get through. I either get busy signals, I get a message saying that they are not taking calls at this time, and then sometimes it doesn't even go through. That's the struggle we're in, and no one, everyone I work with is still pending. Um, and some haven't even bothered to file because they know how infuriating it is. I've been pending for four weeks now and one day. Um, no information yet as to what's going on. Um, no money coming in from unemployment or from the additional federal. Today was the day for me to file for my next set of bi-weeks. So going on four weeks not paid. Um, and you can't file. Um, you go to sign on and it brings you one to two pages in. And then it brings you back to the sign on page. Um, it's extremely infuriating. So I'm basically living off savings. Um, and I'm better off than most who don't have it. Um, that's what's scary. Um, be safe, everyone. Um, even the PPP program. If you haven't even been in business for more than a year, people are getting denied. I know a lot of people that apply for the PPP program and that's the payment protection program to help out small businesses and they have yet to receive their loans or they got denied. I mean, out of the $484 billion that they pumped into the system, I mean, none of that came to help people that don't have jobs or are still waiting for unemployment. I mean, the $1,200 stimulus check could only go for so long. And that's why I think that nobody was prepared for what's happening, but the United States wasn't prepared to take care of us. And I think that's where the problem resides and they're trying to fix it now. But it's kind of too late because there's a lot of people that are suffering and it's it's just beyond frustrating. I mean, I'm going through articles after article. Um, people are going to pawn shops and just giving everything that they have so they can get money, uh, hoping they can get their stimulus checks and then they can go ahead and maybe go try to get their stuff back. But by then it might be too late. In San Jose, Laura and Andres Shelp are trying to be patient. They've gotten their stimulus checks sent by the government to help people during the coronavirus pandemic. But they've both been furloughed from their jobs, have applied for unemployment benefits, and haven't gotten a penny of that yet. We've gone through all of our savings, and we've really had to dig in. We've had a lot of mounting bills. Um, we had to contact all of our creditors and tell them that we weren't able to meet our obligations right now because there's absolutely no money. You know, um, ho hopefully there is a real second round of stimulus checks that gives people more money or maybe money on a bi-weekly or monthly basis to keep it consistent to help people get back up on their feet. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, hopefully there are more positive updates to come, but... I myself started to get extremely frustrated um, reading some of the comments and re reading a lot of these articles where, you know, people are just forget not being able to make it. I mean, they're beyond that point already. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's to come. So uh, and yeah, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are safe. And uh, we'll uh, keep you posted with more updates. And um, thank you guys for those of you who've been subscribing and commenting. Um, all your subscriptions to my channel, all the likes that you give on my video really help out the channel. And I hope that I'm helping you guys out uh, by kind of doing my research and just trying to provide you 
some of the facts. So um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.